Hello everyone, welcome back for the second video tutorial. Uh, for this video, we will look at um, how to use native script UI components for your applications and how do we deal with layout designs. Okay, so in order to have reference for this, okay, it's the good idea to go check out the documentation of this online. So go ahead and type in native script um, V. Now this is matter. Please do not type V native script because this is totally different framework. Okay, we use the framework that have we we'll start with native script and V documentation. So this one will bring us to the websites that have the official document for this um, frameworks. Okay. Now you can see that you can go over the getting start sections if you need help for this, okay, just in case you want to make installation for your software on your local machines. We are going to do this together in class after midterm exam. Now also they have reference part about you know um, the uh, UI components over here. Okay, button, frames, image, label. Now we did label together here. Um, we know that the text label have the properties of attributes next um, text. Okay, this is how we work with it. So now let me introduce um, another label here. So now let's put another label, and I'm going to call this label number two here for the text. And as you can see now, we got two label. You can go further and then put uh, third one here, and put uh, number three. So now you got three level. As you can see, that each component is laid down in vertical manners. What if I want this to happen in horizontal manner? Is it possible? Yes, we can. So we just have to say that, hey, stack layout. I know is you you guy is just like container. Um, if you specify or indicate orientations, orientations will be equal to. Um, not sure about this, but we can just try this first. Horizontal. See if this is working. As you can see, it's now um, laid out our component in horizontal manners. Okay, so in this case, um, you can see that uh, the text itself now doesn't have margins. You can start applying margin here by introducing class. So inside this section for styling, so you can put dot, let's say class number one, and now you can put things like um, margins. Okay, and margin. Let's put two um, px. Well, let's put to um, ten first, and then color equal to green, for example, like this. Now you can apply this class to each UI components like this. So, for example, if you want to apply this styling, okay, margins and color. To the first components, you have to just come here and type class equal to, and then type the name of the class, which is class one. As you can see now, after I introduced the class attributes to the first components, now they also um, introduce the margins for this level, okay? And the color now become green. So you might not look this. Uh, this is not obvious. Let me change to be red color. And I think this one is more obvious. So now we got lead color level. Okay, if you apply this to every con component here, then you can do it as this one. So say class two, class three, and so on. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's going to be the same class, right? One, 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 because we only have one styling over here. So as you can see, everybody have this. And also, if you want to see the borders, then you can apply the border, okay, um, let's say two, okay, like this. Um, not sure if I have to say border width and maybe border. Um, Okay, border, width, border, 
supposed to be just a border. Oh, this is block, right? So border only. How about this? Okay. So as you can see now, you got border. Um, the border itself tell that okay, your components now having um this area much of the area, since. When you look at this alone, as you can see, um, it doesn't tell you how spacious it is, right? You can see margins over there, but now this is the height. Now, if you want to change the height of this, then you can say heights equal to, let's say, 30s. And now um, it doesn't like the fact that I put this directly, let's say, fonts. That's the height, um, height equal to say twenty. <clears throat> okay, so let's take a look at this and see some changes. Okay, so as you can see now that uh, this guy actually now applying 20 to these components now if you try 40 then the height of your component will, a little, will be a little bit bigger okay now I think I still have communi good communication with this yeah I do okay maybe I have to save it one more time let's put 100 save it and my I have okay so as you can see now it's reloaded this Okay, so that's the highest that you can set it up. Okay, so I'm going to set it as 50 for my case. All right. Okay, what else? Um, now, also, what if I would like to have this one putting in the center? Okay, center of the screen. Then is it possible? Well, let's take a look at this um, documentation. So we should look at the stack layout. So let's take a look at stack layout. And for this, it's also to say that you can apply like the height of the layout itself, the background color as well. But I'm looking for, um, okay, so it's going to be vertical alignment, okay, and horizontal alignment, I believe. So let's apply this. So let's try vertical alignment first. So in this case, I'm going to introduce vertical okay let's look at this how do they spell for this um, vertical alignment Camille case alignment equal to center okay save for this and I also introduce vertical align horizontal alignment horizontal alignment equal to center as well and now just to see some changes sometime the server does not you know just trick up so that why we not see changes for local setup so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add and change this to see if chain is going to okay here we go so as you can see now that uh, my layout now is happens in the center of the screen for both um, dimensions, you know, center from horizontal manner and center from vertical manner as well. Okay, so this is how you lay down your applications and your components. So now if I switch that orientation back into vertical, okay, as you can see, this guy is going to be in vertical manners, for example. So without putting orient um, orientation equal to vertical, this without this is going to be the same effect. Okay, so even without this, um, the system will apply orientation default to be vertical. Okay, all right, good. So that is the basic introduction of how do you make a simple layout for this. Okay, we introduce how to put orientations. We also um, tell you how to apply decollation for each components so you can use your basic knowledge about CSS for this okay and now for the next video tutorial we are going to talk about how to add more UI members and then
how to register for the click event whenever, for example, user click on the button. Okay, I'll see you there. Thank you.